got some little baby corn. This is the first stage of silking. Notice we're starting to get some tassel coming out right there. Uh, that's the male, drops down on the on the silk, the female makes the corn. This is um, already starting that process. This is the 13th of uh, July. So, uh, from the time you've seen us plant it to the silking, the tasseling out, uh, I noticed I've got some critters in here that's been eating on this corn. So I don't know what's going on right there. Um, you can see been some they've been in there gnawed the corn clear off uh, so, uh, well <laughs> oh I just heard something there goes a deer right there something just running out of there <laughs> I don't know where it went but it busted through there <laughs> pretty interesting Hey, one thing with another. <laughs> Food plotter's worst nightmare. I discovered about a half a dozen cattle in this cornfield and in my bean field. I was up there mowing and ran through some brand new cow poop. And the video camera, the camera over here said that they came through about 12.30. And it's about 4.30 now. So, I don't know where they went and what they did. They knocked down some corn, but you know, that's a bad situation. It's, if they're in this timber, it's going to really be hard to get them out. It, uh, and there ain't no reason for them to leave. Well, I'll just have to figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> the fun, the tr tries and tribulation, or I don't know what the hell. The, if it ain't a drought, it's cows in your crop. So, one thing after another. Yeah, they came right by that tree out of that corn. And there's, like I say, there's fresh cow poop up here. Cows and calves. And uh, I can smell them. I can smell them about like elk. You smell them before you see them. There's some of that brand new cow poop right there. Oh, they got corn knocked down. Like I said, been eating on it. it that is a food plotter's worst nightmare. You can see the hoof prints have been up in here. I think you can still smell the that they've been in here. Real strong cow odor. Just like if you were hunting elk out in Colorado or Montana or anywhere far as that goes. Good chance once you get downwind of that herd, you're gonna smell it. Yeah, they've been in here. Oh man. <laughs> Looks like the corn picker went down. Yep. Yeah, they just bulldozed the hell out of that corn. Now I'm really at a loss of what what the hell to do here. Uh contacted the one farmer got some more cow shit and he said they weren't his cows so who knows it ain't one thing or another but like that just happened since this morning 12 30 oh, I have no idea where they went but somebody got them out of here which once you get in a cornfield, it'd be pretty tough to get them out. And I, there's some more cow poop right there. Oh man. You know, I came up here to take a picture of the food plot. And <laughs> I was so proud of this, and still am, but... <sighs> that's a bitter pill to swallow there. Beans are over knee high. Uh, I don't know what to think of that corn. I mix so many different brands of corn in there. I don't even know what I'm looking at. So that's my fault for trying to play. Uh, oh, I don't know. Like I said, 
I know I had a lot of different seed corn mixed in there. You've seen that, different colors. There's the power plant. You can see the sorghum in front, the sunflowers. Uh, it's all, all up. And I'll tell you what, that stuff's thick. And then, butts right up in there to the corn. But my main concern now is what to do with these cows in here. <clears throat> the deer are one thing. <laughs> cows are a whole different, whole different game. These sunflowers, they, they got some big heads on them. I mean, that's as big as my hand. It's, uh, honeybees will be in here. You can see how thick, how tall this power plant is. It's really, really tall. See, you know, I think I was lacking a little nitrogen here because, you know, it takes a lot of nitrogen on them. And I don't think I had quite enough nitrogen this year to get these. But they're six foot tall. You know, some places, some places they're four foot, but, but they, that's a power plant. Uh, Twenty sixth day of July. There's a lot of a lot of sunflowers in there. Well, all I can do is hang around. Hey, now there's a hedge apple tree. It's got some hedge apples on it. The big one that we had down yonder. It didn't produce one hedge apple. Last year it produced so many of them that yeah, it must be a cycle in, cycle out thing. And, uh, but there again, that hedge ball got some pretty good hedge apples on it. Well, let's wander around and see if we can find some cows. Yeah, I've checked this fence. I don't think they came over this fence. I think they came in from the other end. At, uh, I just have to check it out. Yeah, that was a fresh pile of cow shit right there. I was coming down this lane mowing it. So they've got this far. Hopefully, maybe they fed out into that alfalfa field back where they belong. Yeah, right there is cow hooves. You can see them in the dirt. So I know they got back this far, and boy, look at what they did here. <laughs> Just trashed that corn. Sons of bitches. Well, that corn was pretty good corn there, as you could tell. That was nothing but... Oh, man. Yeah, they were in here. Well, I can still smell cow, but I don't see no cows. Only thing a guy can hope, oh, they got down to this end. They really worked that in. Oh, that's some brand new corn just devastated. Oh, well. Hopefully. They went out this gate. Uh, say, why is this gate open? Well, it's open because uh, I was going to have cow shit put on there manually, but uh, I guess the guy delivered it to me. Fresh product. I don't know. I say if I blow that, put that gate back up there. Well, when people talk edge, this is edge. You got the timber edge with the hardwoods in it. You got the power plant with high protein forage beans in it. You got the egg bean out in the middle. And you got the corn in the foreground, high in carbohydrates. Now, that's some edge right there. There's one, two, three crops right there. Plus, ever what the forest will offer in uh, 
a mass crop. So this was the field that we planted the 18th of May and uh, it's in its full glory right now. The corn is making ears. Sunflowers are tremendous. And some people might not want those on their property, but this is a food plot and it drew cows. I just hope we can get rid of the cows, but uh, a lot of hard work. Maybe, oh, you probably got a thousand dollars in product out there. And, you know, some people spend it other ways, some people spend it gambling, some people spend it drinking. I spend it feeding the wildlife. You know, it's just money, and money was made to be spent, not saved. That's why they invented it. But that's the results that you can expect. Uh, when you look back through there, <laughs> there's nothing but a sea of gold back there. It's a thick, 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 high-protein power plant. Well, this is the barbecue grill. And if you don't use it, this is what can happen to it. Oh, he's gone. No, he ain't. He's right there. Underneath the grill. Huh. Oh, a baby went in there, too. Oh, boy. Ain't that cool. Oh, well. Welcome to the wild. Huh. Wonder how long it would take to get him cooked out of there. <laughs> oh, well. That's the way it goes. Baby mice. At least they're out here, they're not in the house. <laughs> huh. Well, that's something. Uh, fried Mickey. <laughs> 